But they're sure on the road. Can everyone hear me? I can hear myself, so I think we're good. Let's begin. Greetings everyone, my name is Atterville, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Mega Man Maker. This is a bonus episode slash stream, especially for Halloween 2019. I also did a bonus episode for Halloween 2018, so take this as a continuation of that one. During this stream, I'll cover only horror, Halloween, or darkness themed levels. So if you're going to submit any levels that are based off one of those teams, please do so. Save any other teams for Saturday streams. If you want to submit one of your levels, please leave the level ID in the chat. I'm streaming to YouTube, Twitch, and Mixer, so feel free to leave the level IDs in any one of the chats. I'll see it. But please submit no more than two levels at a time, and make sure you, already, you check to make sure I haven't already covered your levels yet. In order to see if I checked your levels or not, or played your levels or not, check out this link. And to see what the current level queue is, visit this link. So I'll begin with this stage. Halloween Capsule Relay... Weapon Capsule Relay Halloween 2019 Edition by YouTube Social HD 2 with 21 plays and a score of 4. So welcome to stream Spotmark, YouTube, Jerryman, Soundhacksterus, Jedoc... Eduardo, Jaden, Philip, and anyone else I missed, as well as all the lurkers. Thank you everyone for joining the stream. There'll be another bonus stream tonight, where I'll cover Skullman Kills, and I'll continue playing Cathedral, which just released today, by the way. Highly recommend you purchase it. I posted the first episode of the LP about a few hours ago. Remember, is your level Halloween team Jedoc? If it isn't, please save it for Saturday. Even vaguely Halloween team will work. Hey Kurobi, glad you can make it for the bonus stream. No news yet. I guess it won't be released for Halloween, probably Thanksgiving. I hope so too, Eduardo. I think it's great. I'd like to see the entire worldwide audience of Mega Man grow in size. Anyone else this stream chugging? Did 
Did you try turning down the video quality? Oh, okay, temporary blip then. Hey again, Master Man. Make sure your level is Halloween themed. If it's not, save it for next week. Remember, this is a Halloween bonus episode, not just a bonus Mega Man Maker stream. I'll have the usual number of streams on Saturday. From rumors, I think they are Kroby. Yep, Mega Man Legends, or Mega Man 64. Pretty simple encounter. Alright, moving on to the next one. Let's see... Second up is Castlevania 1-1 by 2011 Brony Derek with 1 or 26 plays and a score of 40. Hey Squigs, glad you could make it. I thought there'd be more zombies here. If only we could blow up in the walls or there were fake blocks, there'd be some wall meat. Also, wasn't there a gap in the water there? I would think the merman would be more aggressive. It also requires quite a bit of bouncing, as Jerry Man is alluding to. We'd face off against Darkwing Bat in there, but... Instead, it's a simple Baton. Of course, we'd be weak against the Shadow Blade. The closest equivalent to the Holy Cross. Decent recreation, I'd say. Turret up is Darkness Strikes by Max Power with 97 plays and a score of 28. It's going to be a short one. Okay. Uh. Happy Halloween, everyone. What? Oh, okay. I think this is supposed to be auto-playing, but for some reason it's not working as intended. Okay, now it's working. 
I'm not sure what happened there. Hey, this is supposed to be an auto playing level once you got it on top of the oil slider, but for some reason, it didn't work there. Now it did. Yep, that'll count, Squigs. Darkness, horror, or Halloween themed. Board up is Scrap Metal Graveyard, Dust and Junk Hybrid by Silent Haxorus with 23 plays and a score of 4. It doesn't necessarily even need to be scary, just evoke a sense of dread. The stream is going to be up to about 2 hours today. Hopefully up to 2 hours. Don't forget to watch my bonus stream tonight. Apparently a lot of people had the same idea of using Castlevania as an inspiration. Something's up there. I knew it. It was alluding right to it. I haven't, but I've watched videos of it. Hi the patio, glad you can make it for the Halloween stream. If you're going to submit any levels, please make sure they're Halloween, Darkness, or Horror themed. Even a junkyard or graveyard would work if you want to stretch the definition a bit. I'll take a look at it. I'm not sure I'll be able to complete it because I know it gets rather difficult at the end. Chasm, haven't played it. Which Momodora? There are four Momodora games out there, Jaden. You mean Reverie Under the Moonlight? Definitely nails that. Sure, Lepadio, send it in. The more the merrier. Mind you, I do have a key for a really big roguelike, but I'm not sure if you want to watch that. I mentioned it before in an earlier stream, but I got a key for Tome. No, no not Tome. Yeah, Tales of Magial, or Tome for short. It's a really big roguelike with a lot of interesting features. That one, I only really watched the speedrun of it. It looks like a good game. Well, there's Mega, Ma there's Mega Man X++. Perhaps that's what you're looking for. I never played the game before, so... I have a key for it, but I'm a bit more... 
I have a key for both the base game and the expansion. If I ever do a live stream, well, it's going to be kind of like AI War 2, but worse, if you watched my last try of it. There were so many mechanics there that I didn't even scratch the surface. In fact, I had to do a second version of the Let's Try because I screwed it up a bit. At least you have extra lives for that, by default. If I if there's enough interest given for that, I'll see if I can play the game. That's why I kind of prefer action RPGs because, or action roguelikes, or action roguelites, because even if you don't get that deep into the stat mechanics or skill mechanics, you can still rely on your action skills or combat skills. Well, for simpler RPGs, it's alright. Because first impressions matter, but when you get to really complicated games like Tome or AIWAR 2, I see some problems start to come along. From what I played so far, Cathedral, I highly recommend it. I'm gonna be streaming it again tonight after Skullman kills. Children of Mana, um, well, the only games in the Mana series I ever played were was Secret of Mana and Final Fantasy Adventure. level the episode. Good chant progression and nice aesthetics. Skullman Kills is tonight. I'll do I'll start tonight's stream at 8 p.m. PDT. Oh Children of Morta. I've heard that's interesting, but there are a lot of other games I have on my list to play. I don't have the power adapter. You can always watch the edited version, the LP. Let's see what would be next. Jedok. Fifth up is Mega Saga Cemetery Halloween Special by Jedok74 with 17 plays and a score of 6.
I wish in the future they had the pumpkin mini boss that's in Shade Man's level. The one that's pictured on the thumbnail of this episode. Oh well, perhaps in 2021. Alright, give an F divided by 2 then. Happy... Halloween. There aren't that many Halloween themed ROM hacks or fan games out there for Mega Man. I can't recall any Halloween themed Mega Man fan games, but I can think of one unintentionally more horrific Mega Man fan ROM hack. Oh, thanks for the indicators of where the spikes are. Currently only on the ceiling, but they're going to start appearing on the floor, aren't they? The patio does better faces than this. Hmm. Nah, I won't jump over it. Ah uh, yes, Pico Pico Khan. Uh... Alright. He was just a punching bag. The dock run there was more dangerous anyways. Excuse me. That was unexpected.
I think this strategy works better. Here's his right trigger shields. Now I just need to make sure I can survive it. Yeah, I've been through tougher. This is very, this is quite manageable in all things considered. For that battle, having the shield isn't the best option actually. It's the black hole bomb. I don't mind Mega Man 8 not having E or W tanks, but it's a bigger problem for Mega Man and base, considering its difficulty. Oh, okay, so that's the safety net. Neat idea, and thank you for indicating where the safety spots are. In essence, these are Yoko Crushers. For a moment there, I thought I was going to get destroyed. That's where I thought I need to rush forwards. Someone tried doing it, actually, Philip. They're only successful tanks to luck. And the rush responder. Game Champ 9000, indeed. Skip the tutorial is also another person who's done, who's done some crazy challenges. I really like the rise of all those minimalist challenges, like don't collect coins, don't take damage, don't move left, don't move right, don't jump, etc. Double shade, man, but I can crush them. Or quadruple. Uh huh, we're not fighting you, Spike Wall, man. I already defeated you in Magmal 2. This was fun. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm subscribed to Steve Gaming. They know a lot of those crazy contraptions in uh, Mario Maker. Next up is O Caminho Sombrio Normal by La Patio with 8 plays and a score of 3. Same here, Squigs. He's simultaneously a Mario Maker scientist and a challenge player. It makes all his contraptions seem a lot... He, he managed to simplify and explain them pretty well. The Dark Path. Thank you, Lepatio.
Now I would have played Super Ghosts and Goblins tonight, or Super Ghouls and Ghosts, or Castlevania, but after playing Super Ghosts and Goblins in his test run, I decided otherwise because let's just say the number of deaths was getting excessive. Maybe Castlevania 4 in the future, but not in this format. Plus, Cathedral needs more of its time to shine. Run for dear life. Into the cemetery you go. Well, I should have not done that. I forgot it turns it off. My bad. I kind of wish in the future it wouldn't turn off your weapon as long as you don't swap to another one. All your level pyres. Oh, I said, I'm adding a level of Papyrus. Let me just finish the stage. I can't recall, Jerry Man. I think it was a Fortress team. Ah, uh, the classic. No worries, only a few screens away. It always shows up once, clipping to walls. Uh, it could have been more inappropriate.
I'll be taking a short break after this level, so then I'll check. It give the option to make checkpoints invisible would be nice, but I'm a bit worried how troll levels would exploit it. And give another version a checkpoint which will always activate as long as you go past them via X or Y coordinates. Or if you're on the same screen as them, I mean. I don't think that's how you're supposed to do it, but that was fun. Thanks for cooperating, Metal Man. Actually, before I get before I take a break, let me cover Papyrus's level. Oh, I already covered this level before by Brickman, so I'll remove it from the list. Remember, I'm only I'm only covering new levels. All right, I'll be right back then.
and I'm back. As there are no more levels on my queue, let me start covering levels that I find online. First off, let's try out this stage. Seventh up is Castlevania Shade Man's Castle by Waka Daghimi with 39 plays and a score of 20. I probably butchered your username, sorry. I see. So we can have candles this way. This already feels more fateful than the other Castlevania 1-1 levels I played. We even have the candles and a slower paced feel. And only a short range weapon. I'll cover it after I cover a few more levels, Jeddak. Holy water. Wow, apparently do you once you pick up another weapon you lose the other weapon, just like in Castlevania. We even have the wall meet here. Amazing. Nah, I don't want the time slow. I'm fine. More hidden hearts. I don't really want the axe. That's, that's not really the axe, that's the cross. Mind if I Darkwing Bat? Of course it was easier because he took more damage from the sword. But compared with Brony Derek's recreation of Castlevania 1-1, this felt much more faithful. Good work, Waka. Could've been done better, but it's only 1-1. Also, congrats on getting the most popular queue. 8 up is Halloween by XX Alpha Hexagon XX with 24 plays and a score of 8. You already have cameo weapons from Toho and Smash. Hmm. How many hours left in this stream? About... 70 minutes left. Well, more like 75 minutes, but no between. I 
If there are no more interesting levels I find, then I'll end off the stream early. It's alright, Papyrus. I can play it in a future stream. My base again down there. Oh, okay. I guess we can skip that entire section. Um, there is a black part of the screen there that should be filled in. The Magma Toon Mega Man Maker version is better, definitely. Well, it's not Magma 2, you mean Magma 1. Magma 1, Magma 1 R. And I guess it has the secret weapons. And also because you can cancel it here. I see how this is gonna go. Uh, but Plant Man just tries dying to clip out of the train. We think I can hit him. I don't wanna let him escape in case he breaks the level. Is easy. Yeah, I remember Pyres. I exploited that during my original playthrough. I did it the intended way when I did Magma 1R on the live stream. Compared to most other Black Hole Bomb Wolf Focus levels, this is one of the more fun ones. It actually poses somewhat of a challenge to me. Many tanks are out of obstacles and enemies are placed. Got 
I could get out of there. They're kind of for different purposes, honestly. I'm essentially using- this is a bomb-type weapon, which I can also use as a shield, whereas the dual side is a deflective shield. So they serve different goals. Triple Skullman. It's not like the stage ends rather quickly. It takes a while. We're gonna face up against all the bosses at once, aren't we? Let's bring them all in the field. Shade, Skull, Plant, Wood, and Pharaoh. I'm having... Thus ends Halloween. It kind of feels like I'm playing as a slasher monster. Search for Halloween levels. Ah, oh, this looks interesting. Ninth up is Skullman's Halloween Strike Collect the Eight Candies by Felipe1234 with four plays and a score of zero. So I need to collect 8 candies, AK keys, and get out of here. Basically, we're jumping off the left side.
One down, seven left to go. Doing tree. Four. We're getting them pretty fast now. Five, six, and seven? Uh-oh. Uh... I need to get to a door first, otherwise I can't carry this many keys. There, now I should be able to. Yeah, I thought this was going to be a maze stage or exploration stage, but it was that straightforward all this time. And I expected there to be at least three more boss battles or something. I like the title of the stage, but the way it went... Not really. Tent Up is Halloween 2019 by Elvis Pretzels, with 58 plays and a score of 20. I hope this got up here not based off its name, and more based off its merits. Got your levels in. We're gonna hear a lot of similar teams of this stage. Someone else submitted a stage to me, so I'll have to double check. Once it completes Zen, I'm gonna take a short break and see what that's going on there. Perhaps one more level after Zen. Oh, I wish there were more fan games out there. We have plenty of Mario and Sonic Halloween fan games. And ROM hacks. In before someone makes a Mega Man Battle Network parody of Sonic.exe. After all, we already have Mega Man.exe. That actually be a pretty humorous parody of. Considering we already had Dark Souls in four and five, Sonic that you see being a remnant Dark Soul, that'd be an interesting idea. Perhaps as a short one, one fan, one boss battle fan game. I 
Hello, Pac-Man Ghost. You can download you can download Magwell 2 and get the sound and get the music track that way. To be honest, I found Hot Man stage to be a bit how should I say it? It's not bad, it's just it didn't fully realize its potential. If it had one more section, I would have liked it more. Minor pumpkin. And now I can cross the spikes. I like this stage a lot more than the previous one, to be honest. It feels like a better traditional fortress stage. And I like how you look back on a stage once you get more of the abilities you need you require to progress onwards. And aesthetics are nice as well. This Bad jump. Exactly, Jaden. That'd be a fun one. And considering the events of Battle Network 4 and 5, frankly, viruses like that wouldn't be too out of place. We already have Cyber Ghosts. And that's my ticket out of here.
Decent stage overall. This will probably be an honorable mention. Glad to see you still maintain your weakness to silver. At least this stage got a high score more based off its merits, rather than its title. Alright, let's do Genox stage. Eleven up is Halloween Scary Castle by Genox74 with 19 plays and a score of zero. I agree, Jaden. That was a humorous show. It started hitting its stride in season two, or arguably a the second half of season one. Reminds me of a better version of Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. On that note, I really need to see the Sonic crossover in OKKO. OK I have been putting it off for long enough. I'm curious how the tone and story progression is going to be handled in the Sword and Shield arcs. I'm really hoping for the return of certain characters. I see your jack o' lantern there. Now you're doing your dance inside. Agreed. After so long. Of course, it wouldn't be the end of his journey anyways. There's the Elite Four... Plus the, all, all the other masters. Maybe not masters, but victors. Lucky save there.
Sadly, as Mega Maker has dropped in popularity, it's gonna be more difficult to find good levels, or at the very least decent ones. So far, this is on the decent side, but if I were to look online, I'd probably have a harder time. That's partly the reason why I asked for viewers submitted levels, because they tend to be around or above the average level, average level quality. Sadly, this game is not as popular as, make, as Mario Maker or probably Sonic Studio is ever going to be. Due to several issues I mentioned during an earlier stream. Born on the part of the players and the devs. Shame, really. Yeah, Mega Man X++. Let's hope they learn from the mistakes of Mega Man Maker. Considering the fact that you can add custom code, you can add custom objects in with coding, that's already going to put it ahead of this game. Now you can actually manually code in all the bosses if they're missing, as well as other level of the objects, enemies, graphics, whatever. Even if it's only client side only, we can always just have mod packs. But to be honest, I feel Sonic Studio in general is going to be more popular than Mega Man X++. Sonic has a bigger fan base. And there are bigger YouTubers dedicated to him. Same with Mario, hence why we have stuff like Mario Unimaker and Mario... Mario Unimaker... Um, the Mega Man make the Mario Maker game made in XNA, as well as another one. Perhaps they will, perhaps they will not, Jaden. I doubt it due to the time constraints required, but someone may add it, someone may mod it in. Yeah, only 16 bit. What about Owlboy, Jaden? That also had pretty good sprite art. Or very good sprite art. You may disagree with it being a good game, so then I understand that point. Which is why I really wish there were more A, A single-A and double-A games in the market. Because making good sprite art is expensive, and not everyone has the skill for it. That's part of the reason why 8-bit and now 16-bit is in the vogue. I'm glad we're moving away from just the very low-res 8-bit sprites, but that's part of the reason why. One of which is nostalgia, the other which is because it's easier to make. Speaking of which... Oh, um... I already played this level, Zen. However, just for fun, because I'm going to be taking a break right after this one... I'll just show it off anyways, again, but... I won't count it on my list. 
This is the scariest thing, by the way. It works better for certain enemies who don't change their animation frames. Alright, I'll be right back in a moment, in a few minutes. Feel free to find any levels and submit them in.
All right, let's resume the stream. Sorry about the papyrus. If you can't do it for this stream, you can save for another stream. Oh, how I wish there was a curated list. Ah, uh, sure, let's do some memes. If the server decides not to error out, of course. Twelfth up is Sans is Skullman for Halloween by Zavokandrosse with 32 plays and a score of 6. By this point, unless I get lucky, I'm probably going to get through, go through a lot of subpar or trash levels. Yep, back to regular streams on Saturday, so two, so hopefully two Mega Maker streams then. And any levels made for Day of the Dead would also count over here. Close enough. I'm expecting more blaster enemies here, to be honest. Band actually covered this stage. You know, the blood red water combined with the background makes it seem a bit more disturbing than it actually is. Also, as a reminder, starting from this Sunday, I'll start covering the Mega Man World titles on the Game Boy. Right after I complete the last ROM hack I was playing. Well, there are no more levels on the queue in front of you, Squigs. I'm just covering levels from the, from the from online, so feel free to submit your level right now. I have about 25 to 36 minutes left in the stream, so there's a high chance it will be covered. the advantages of there not being that many Halloween levels. Wait, he, qu he quit YouTube? 
Darn, that sucks. For a to the more meme title, this was... I guess okay at best? I don't know what else to say. 13 Dub is... Hello Darkness, my old friend! By Squigs2, with 27 plays and a score of 2. Oh, Nicolas, say eh? He was my favorite Mega Man Maker level designer. Made the best level design. Made some of the best levels. He, along with Derelict All Stars, vanished. But I don't blame them for getting bored of Mega Man Maker. That's why I cover so many other. That's why I cover other games on my channel, and that's why I don't do three streams of Mega Man Maker usually per week. It gets repetitive. That's why also I why I branched away from just covering only Mega Man stuff. Unless I cover absolutely every Mega Man game, I don't really see a future for Mega Man only content. If I can play the Android games on my computer, I will cover Rockman X Dive. And perhaps Dragalia Lost Mega Man event, at least as one video or two. Welcome to the stream, Cyan. First time here? Diversity is important. I say the content diversity is important. Don't put all of your eggs in one basket, after all. That's also why I don't cover just action platformers, retro action platformers. I also watched a video of the green screen in Mega Man Maker. That was very interesting. Did you do the green screen processing in post or while recording? There was no way I was not going to sing that. This isn't actually as scary as long as you slide. Yeah, they diversified over to other games. What are games that are covering? Gigaboot status? I haven't checked their channel for a few months now. Good thing I can't slide into a wall and die here. I say that this is one of the neater applications of the darkness gimmick. Here you can't just easily skip over it. And it does pose some of a challenge to the player. 
Ah uh, yes, you were mentioned by Jinox74 during last week's stream, I think. Usually they're just a pushover in a minor section, but making it making it the central gimmick of an entire stage, this is one of the better applications. Though not all people are gonna like this type of stage. Yeah, this is one way of doing it. We even have a boss chase section at the end. Of course, this is the other way of cheesing it. Damage boosting. Still, you gotta be careful. I trust myself with these ceiling jumps. Almost made it. That's why I need groups of testers. To locate the areas of cheese, as well as design mistakes. I made it here. Nice being off the stage. You can do it faster by avoiding taking damage, but you have to memorize the spikes and it's a lot more risky with some of the jumps. I say that this is an honorable mention. Sadly, I'm not one of them. Well, back to searching for some interesting levels. This was easier last year. Oh, uh, you know what, I'm just gonna use a different service. Mega's website is a lot more consistent at doing this. Fourteen up is Play on Halloween by Stardroid101 with 21 plays and a score of 1. That's neat sign. Maybe I'll try out during Saturday's stream. I didn't notice the gap in the floor there.
And I really want to cover levels that are made during this year, not last year. Usually the trick behind him is the chroma key it, as well as having an interesting background behind it. Yeah, I will do a Christmas special. Of course, it'll be easier to find levels there thanks to the winter team. I'll also be covering Christmas Carol... Actually, I need to check what Christmas what which Christmas Carol game is left. If not, I'll play a winter themed game. Let's see how he fares against his own weapon, and see if he suffers from Metal Man Syndrome. Nope, he doesn't. Uh. Yes, that's his strategy now. Yeah, there will be a bonus stream for Christmas. Well, of course, it also depends on which day it falls on. If it's... As long as it's not on Sunday, sure, I'll have a Mega Man Maker stream dedicated to Christmas. If it's on Saturday, I'm not sure how I'll handle it. Probably the way usually. Weekday, extra stream. 15 up is Halloween is Coming by Crazy Loco, with 36 plays and a score of 10. Another Wednesday, good. There was always a bunch of issues. Honestly, depending on how much popular the streams are for future Mega Man streams, I may end up shelving the Saturday evening streams, or replacing them with a, with a different game. They don't get as much exposure as the morning streams. I agree, Jaden. I really want to cover more indie games instead of this, this repeating Mega Man Maker. Oh sure, Mega Man Maker is a fine game, but it gets boring playing it for the same time over and over and over. I already did over 300 episodes on this series, and I feel like it's starting to stagnate. The, the slow update rate is not helping matters either. And there are a bunch of indie games that are on my to-playlist, both that I purchased myself and ones I got free keys for. They really need to get their time to shine. Plus, I need to complete games like Tower Tail and One Finger Death Punch.
I'll pay the old version. Hey Buster, glad you make it. Currently near the ending of the stream. Running out of Halloween themed levels to play. I think I already did all the decent ones. Not really. Well, we already had a lot of skull men. At least 15 of them. Uh, as well as a lot of shade men. I was a bit worried about that game, Jaden. Especially considering the previous game's reception. Um, but I'm glad to see it has a very positive reception. Probably not. I didn't even play the original Donkey Kong games. If I ever play Impossible Lair, I probably want to play DKC 1, 2, 3, and another game before it. That wasn't too bad, to be honest. Hang on, let me search out another stage. Sixteenth up is Mega Man's Almost Halloween Strike by Felipe1234 with 14 plays and a score of 3. Is it just me, or does this stage feel quite familiar? You used to be Grenade Man, though. It is the same otter, but... Yeah, the beginning building is the best part of the stage. The rest is rather forgettable. Also, welcome to stream game, Fox. Compared to the 8 candies level, this was even less of a stage. Yeah, this subpar at best. 
Emphasis at, be at best. Seventeen up is Creepy Clown Playground by Pixel Blaster, with 28 plays and a score of 4. I'm starting to run out of stages that are Halloween related. Nice clown face. Too bad we don't have clown, man. There's probably an invisible ceiling up there, isn't there? I was gonna say, I'm not falling for that trick. That clown looks a bit more disturbing now. That man's so terrified he's refusing to jump. Don't forget to subscribe for future streams, Cyan. And don't follow me on Twitter. Basically, Buster. Thanks, Cyan. I suggest you also follow me on Twitter, if you have a Twitter account. It's a lot easier to post updates there. Despite the stage's flaws, this was still better than the previous one. It's actually going somewhere, and it's not ending abruptly. Now imagine a Mega Man ROM hack which retextures the air tikis as clowns. Oh, that's it. I expected a boss. Fair enough, sign.
Well, there's one more stage I can cover. So the 18th and final of the stream is Halloween Hell on Earth by Kush69 with 9 plays and a score of 0. I probably pronounced, mispronounced her name, sorry about that. Don't rush yourself, Papyrus. If it needs another layer of polish, save it for Saturday. It'll be the first level we'll cover then. Don't rush yourself. So we fall from the heavens. What's next? Doom guy showing up? This was the last directly related Halloween level to show up on my search. Well, barring stuff from Philippe, I think. Nice skull. Thank you, Mark. I guess. Turning in the town in my stream, though. Right now this feels one of the more rompy stages, but I do like the stage progression. We started outside in the fiery landscapes, now we're inside of this skull. Love the double jump trick.
Time for the boss, I guess. Is he the final one or just an ultimate one? An ultimate, probably. And that's it! We defeated the leader of the invasion. Earth has been saved. So overall, out of the 18 levels I played during this stream, my two favorites would be Silent Haxorus's level and the first level by Jirox24. An honorable mention goes to the level Hello Darkness, My Old Friend by Squigs. Sorry, I have to say that again. So tonight, I'll have one, I'll have one bonus stream where I'll be covering Skullman Kills and resume my Let's Play of Cathedral. Thank you everyone for watching, and I hope you all have a happy Halloween. See ya!